do your own praying. I want to read to you out of King James Version 513. Is any among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Let me read you the same verse out of the Amplified Bible. Is any among you afflicted, ill-treated, suffering evil? He should pray. The Greek word translated afflicted doesn't mean the result of sickness and disease. It means troubled. If you're in trouble, you need to pray. That's what the word says. Notice it didn't say your pastor needs to pray for you or your friends need to pray for you. It says you need to pray. Too often we try to find a quick fix to our problems by asking everyone else to pray for us. There's nothing wrong, of course, with having others pray for you, but you'll never get your life to a place of permanent victory until you begin to pray yourself. I was reading about the biggest church in the world. It's in Seoul, Korea. It's pastored by Dr. David Cho. And at the last I heard, he had more than 700,000 members. How did that church grow? To be so large. According to Dr. Cho, the key is prayer. Not just his prayers, but the prayers of his people. Praying is a way of life in that church. They have a place called Prayer Mountain, where thousands of people come every day to pray. I once heard Dr. Cho's mother-in-law on television talking about the emphasis that they put on prayer. She said that when their church members are in trouble, when they have marriage problems or problems in their personal lives, before anything else is done, those church members are told to go and fast and pray for 24 hours. We need to do more of that here in our churches in the United States. We need to quit training our people to run around asking others to pray for them and train them instead to do their own praying. You see, if I pray for God to solve one problem for you, you may enjoy success for a while, but then another problem will come along because you'll still be making the same old mistakes that got you in trouble the first time. But if you buckle down and do that praying for yourself, If you discipline yourself to start searching out the things of the Spirit, you'll get permanent answers. You'll learn how to make adjustments in your life that will keep those problems from cropping up again. If you have made Jesus your Lord, you have access to the throne of Almighty God. He has every solution to every problem you will ever have, and He's just waiting for you to come to him so he can give you the answer. It may take, it may take some private time alone with God. It may take some private time alone with him for you to hear it, but he will never disappoint you. Don't depend on others to do your praying for you. Go personally to the throne of God today. God bless you. Now, Lord, I ask that they could receive this and they would go with this and activate it in their life. For time is very crucial right now. In Jesus' name, amen.